What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode from my channel, ASMR Jams. And tonight, we are going to do something completely new that I have not done on this channel at all. But hear me out. Stick around as we go through this. I really think this will pique your interest. Um, as you can see on the screen, we're going to be dealing with some NFTs tonight. is because obviously a lot of you um, have been to this channel to watch me do some ripping and tearing uh, through trading cards, which obviously are collectibles that have uh, value and can be traded and flipped. Well, NFTs are exactly the same. is just 
that's not the goal here. I'm just trying to inform you guys of what's out there. If you haven't looked yourself, so you can kind of see what's going on in this new market that is just exploding with billions of dollars. So we can get into it later if that's something you guys are interested in, in terms of my account. But I'm not logged in. I'm just on an, uh, the OpenSea account. Now, like I said, OpenSea is one of the very popular ones. It was one of the first ones, but there's other websites that do the same thing. Um, Foundation is another one where that's kind of where you have to get invited to go to it and able to sell on it. That one's pretty popular. Uh, I want to say it's like Rarible or Super Rare is another. There's a bunch of them out there. OpenSea is definitely the most popular. So why don't we go ahead and get started. And just gonna, We're going to go to their charts of like the best sales right now. I am going to show you real quick though. You can see they do have a sports category and they have a trading cards category. So like I said, I think in the future this is what's going to happen with a lot of cards, especially with PSA and BGS like having issues with counterfeit too. I, I would be seriously worried about PSA. If I was at PSA and BGS, I would be very worried about this. I think I think they're, they're going to potentially become obsolete in the future. Where you're just going to tie everything to NFTs and they won't be really needed potentially. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, obviously there's something to having it physically in your hands, so maybe. But at the same time, just think of it this way. Like, let's say you want to go and buy an NFT of a LeBron James card and you're willing to pay for a perfectly rated card. There's no physical card of it yet. It's just digital. So you go and buy it. And then after the fact, maybe the card company, maybe you like cash in your NFT or something. And then the card company is forced to print you a perfectly cut card. You know, and obviously like if you're willing to take a PSA 9, instead of a 10, then maybe it's a little more affordable. That type of thing. I don't know. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it plays out, but I think there's... I think it's shifting. I think it's going to change. Especially with Top Shot, like I said, that's kind of changing a lot of stuff. So let me go ahead and jump in here. So here are the top collections over the last seven days. Now, if you paid attention to anything of thousands of dollars now. 
musicians. Uh, Dave Chappelle just bought one actually yesterday from what I'm recording this video. Dave Chappelle bought one. So um, at this point, like, we, we've, we've missed the boat on this one anyways. There's no way, you know, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be able to afford that. Unless I got some rich people uh, that are subscribed to my channel, if that's the case.
can see what they're doing, which is kind of unique too, because then you get to see how people are spending their money and what they're spending it on. Kind of takes away any of that secrecy. Now we don't know the actual person behind the the digits there, but in this case, a lot of them you'd see like if you go and follow them on Twitter, a lot of them are definitely putting themselves out there. What they call doxing themselves, um, because you know they want everybody else to know that they have a board ape. So I'm gonna try hitting refresh here and see if that helps. Everything load. Otherwise, it's gonna be kind of a problem. And I'd lo I'd love to hear if any of you guys have. Uh, looked into NFTs at all. I'm just kind of curious how many of you have some background knowledge of it. Yeah, this just isn't going to work. I'm not sure why. Alright, let's go back. I see like...
sold it for 75 Ethereum. What Ethereum have we grown to? 3700. Oh, this was recently. Okay. A few weeks ago, he sold this CryptoPunk. Wow. I made him a bunch of money.
frustrated. You just gotta find out where they're actually listed for the rarity stuff. So I went down like the rabbit hole and like lost. There we go. Rarity. 4509 is what that one was. 4509. So we go over here and put in 4509. Look up. Rarity score is an 80. So that's actually, that's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Oh wait, maybe not. No, that's bad. I'm sorry. You want that to be a higher score. Here's the ranking, right? There's 10,000 of them. The ranking is 8,318. So this is not rare at all. At all. So that guy is just totally unrealistic for the price that he's asking. Yeah, that's why these websites really help. So here's the rarest one, apparently. I can see the rarity score is 375. And you get to see all the traits there as to why it's so rare compared to everybody else or every other NFT in this specific collection, right? So kind of like the whole process, I just repeated it. Uh, the whole process I showed you with the Bored Apes is kind of the same thing, just to choose a different project and kind of show you. And this project at the, at the moment is, you know, way cheaper, obviously, than the Bored Apes. Again, I'm not telling you to buy anything. And I don't. I don't like these myself, but it was one that just popped up. I thought I'd just take a peek at because the floor is low. I'm just kind of compare it to the board apes. Kind of see both ends of the spectrum there. So, um, I wonder if that message goes away now. Yeah, so they're, they're back up and operational. So, there's CryptoPunks, by the way. So here is, this is all over the last seven days, like the best of ones. And some of these have been around for a while, right? So like these first six, pretty much, you know, Mutant Ape, Port Ape, and Port Ape Kennel Club are all the same thing. This Primate Planet literally just review, if revealed, they call it a reveal. They did a re they revealed today. I think they minted yeah, last week or a couple days ago. Um, I don't remember what the mint price was. But apparently the designers um, have significant background. Look at this. The art is made by designers who are known for many productions like The Lion King, Godzilla, and many other animations from Marvel, Disney, MGM, and much more. So these are some serious designers who have a lot of skill and are really good at what they do. And for that reason, this project got hyped up just based on people knowing that the art, the artists, you know, the designers have s some skill, legitimate skill. Um, so people were anticipating that they were going to look really good. And here's what they look like. So you get this kind of like 3D look to them, where there's an insane amount of detail. And I mean, I'm not surprised. Like, it says the designers worked for Marvel and Disney. Like, these look like animated characters in a Disney movie. Like, with the amount of detail that's there. So, clearly, uh, people were right in assuming that they were going to look like that. So here you go, like all these different variations. What was the floor? I did I wasn't even paying attention. What's the floor at? 2.1, so that puts it at what, like uh, $7,500 is the cheapest one. Uh, and I bet that that's way higher than what the mint price was. Uh, if we just like click on one of them, I can't remember if it shows us the mid price or not. No, it doesn't. So I don't know what these minted for. And I don't know if we can even look into it. Okay, here we go. So we're going to actually go to the receipt. The receipt of this mint. It was six days ago. The block it was on. It took a minute and 46 seconds for it to go through. 
comments and what you guys are saying. So I appreciate all the support. So that's going to do it for